All right, so we're going to run a slice on this machine. First thing I'm gonna do, get your USB stick, plug it inside the computer. There you go. Now we have Cheeto box open. Isn't that big enough you can all see? Get rid of that model. So, first thing you're gonna to go to is the settings. Make sure we're using the right printer and the right resin. You can click through the settings, but infills none, print, layer height. I want to open a file. Downloads. A stretching cat. I'm going to scale this guy down a little. You don't need a gigantic cat. I really want a tiny cat to show off. I'm also going to rotate it up on its down. To minimize the print time. So the print time is based on how tall the object is. Like that. So then we go up to supporting the machine. I'm just going to use the default shapes of the platform. It's a little iffy. I feel like we need more than that. So we increase the density of the automatic supports. We'll redo the supports. I guess that is pretty small. Two. Raft is on the skateboard. Let's get a little more support going. That looks good, and that will get the feet going. We'll get that. We should be able to get the rest of the cat from there. I'm going to remove this support. Some supports to the bottom. Just to make sure that we start out well. Slice it. And we can look at what it's doing at each layer. Save to computer. So I wrote it. Get that guy going. Having this be 
circle better than just being so far with a circle like that. Yeah. All right, so finishing and cleaning a print. This guy is finished, so you can see that. Made a very tiny cat. Try and record this head style. First thing to do, gloves, of course. So what we're going to do is remove the part and cure it. The scraper is for use to get your parts off the build plate. It is never to be used in the vat. This plastic scraper can be used in the van, but not to get your parts off the build plate. Metal, plastic, metal, plastic. Got this. Let a little bit drip off. The trick is not to make a mess. This is just a straight up simple green solution. Cat's in there. Note the front versus the back. There's these three little notches on there. Which is why we need to differentiate. No idea what that is. These screws, these screws engage with the notches on the back. Put that back in. We are done with the printer. There's our cat. I shrank it to go really fast to try and demonstrate. Might be a little too small. It cannot fit through the holes in our fling though, so we should be okay. All right, over to the wash and cure station. This guy very importantly clips in there. There is a sensor on the back of this, which is why it's labeled back and front. First thing we're gonna do is wash. Sure, that's good enough. Since we got a small part after all. Go for it, ran out of battery because I left it connected to my phone and it was just sitting there. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Cat is dead. The cat is killed. All right, so the print has finished. Get inside. Make sure you guys can see. We're a big old cat. I'm going to take this guy off. I'm just gonna stop this guy because he was just running a clean on it. So the first step to finishing your print is to remove your part into this basket in our cleaning solution, which is just simple grain. Unscrew this guy. And stick this guy over the bed so we can drip off the resin. We're gonna get another one of these trays so you can be over it at all times, but right now, I've got that. Skateboard it should not be terribly difficult to get underneath. Look at that. Get in the bath, kitty. Let's stick this guy back. Only to note we have the front and the rear has these little notches, which is why we have it labeled front. That is all we need to do with the printer. Let's seal him right back up. Good to go. One thing to note, always gloves when touching resin. These parts are fairly fragile right now, because the resin is only partially cured. Okay, into the bath. Rinse off your tools. This is going to go right into our curing station. It's a wash and cure. So we hook this in here. Very important that it's off the bottom. There is an impeller on the very bottom that will be spinning to agitate the liquid. This again has a front and a back. There's a little sensor back there, a little sticker, so it knows if the lid is on correctly. mode, wash, go for two minutes, get that going. So there's a magnet in the base and a magnetic impeller on the bottom. Well, you can see it's starting to spin around. The simple green is uh, not as aggressive as alcohol, so there'll generally be a little bit left. So we're gonna do a secondary rinse in the water once we're done with this. We have our curing plate put it on at the very end. Bit of a ballet and takes uh, two minutes. I'll certainly cut out the time when we're curing, but I'm going to remove this. I'll stick it over here. So we're gonna clean on this surface so we don't have any mess. And dunk the whole shebanger in water real quick. Take the big chunks of simple green off. This guy can go back there. Fine. And I like to do the support removal here. A lot of them should be able to snap off. This is still an uncured part, so it's not as strong as it will be when cured. It's generally easier to get this parts, get the supports off before you cure it. But you have to be careful not to damage your part, which is kind of a trick of how much support did you put on there. problem I should have found or should have fixed when I was generating supports. This support goes all the way up inside. So 
Not really a good way to remove that. Well, we'll cure it like that, see if we can get it out later. This resin likes to be cured underwater, so. You can normally just throw this away. I'm going to cure it as well to serve as example parts. This can be removed. And put his lid back on. It can get set back aside. You change your mode from wash to cure. And then you go up to six minutes. Start the cure. I'm gonna put the camera down so I don't have to sit here for six minutes watching it. Yeah. You guys can watch it. So, you'll notice, taking my gloves off. You can take your part out. Once you've done the cure, this should be good solid resin. Let's actually pick a container. Done. 